Okay, guys, you might be wondering why I chose all of these options to be called an acidic oxide. Now, before we get into the explanation of this question, the first question we ask ourselves is what is an oxide? Now, an oxide is a compound that contains oxygen with one other element. So it means here that oxygen is the main element that forms an oxide. But the type of element that actually combined with oxygen determines the type of oxide to be formed. Now, it brings us to one type of oxide called the acidic oxide. You can see I said earlier that an oxide is a compound that contains oxygen with one other element. This tells us that oxides are binary compounds because binary compounds are compounds that contain two elements. Now, let's quickly move over to this particular question. Now, what is an acidic oxide? An acidic oxide is simply a compound containing oxygen with a non-metal. So it means that for an acidic oxide to be formed, we need a non-metal combined with oxygen. Now, let's quickly move over to the first option. This is CO2 and this is carbon. Carbon is a non-metal. So when this non-metal, which is carbon, combined with oxygen, the type of oxide we are to form is an acidic oxide. That is why I marked CO2 to be correct. Now, for the option B, which is Na2O. Now, Na2O here is not an acidic oxide, but rather it is one type of oxide which is called a basic oxide. Now, why is it a basic oxide? It must be noted that basic oxide are oxides that are formed from metals. So it means that sodium here is the metal that combined with oxygen for this particular compound to be called a basic oxide. Now, moving over to option C, this is H2O2. Now, H2O2 is not an acidic oxide because you might be wondering, because I said that uh, for an acidic oxide to be formed, it will be formed from a non-metal. And hydrogen, in most cases, basically is a non-metal. Now, it must be noted here that why this compound is not an acidic oxide is because um, the oxidation state of oxygen in this compound, which is supposed to be the normal minus 2, but now is minus 1. When the oxidation state of oxygen in a particular compound is minus 1, Instead of the normal, which is minus 2, that particular compound is, is termed a peroxide. So the, the oxygen state of oxygen here is minus 1. That is why this compound's configuration will be called a peroxide, but rather not called an acidic oxide. Now, moving over to option D. Option D is SO2. SO2 here is an acidic oxide because I said acidic oxides are oxides formed from non-metal and sulfur is a non-metal and same applies to SO3. SO3 is still an acidic oxide because sulfur there is a non-metal. Same applies to NO2. NO2 here is still an acidic oxide because nitrogen there is a non-metal. And it must be noted that NO2 is not just an acidic oxide, but rather a mixed acidic oxide, which I will explain how to proceed. Now, for P2O5 is still an acidic oxide, and P2O5 is called diphosphorus pentoxide. Why is it called diphosphorus pentoxide? Is because uh, the, the phosphorus here is two. So we have two atoms of phosphorus combining with oxygen, five atoms of oxygen. So this compound is called diphosphorus pentoxide, and is still an acidic oxide. Now, Acidic oxides have a very special characteristic. And what is that? When this set of compounds react with water, they form an acid. So when CO2 reacts with water, it forms an acid, and that acid is called carbonic acid. And that compound is H2CO3. And it must be noted that that compound is a weak acid. Now, when um, SO2 reacts with water, it forms an acid, and that compound basically is called sulfurous acid, not sulfuric acid. And what is the chemical formula of sulfurous acid? It is H2SO3. Now, when SO3 reacts with water, we form a very, very common acid, which is H2SO4, and that is called the sulfuric acid. Now, for NO2, I said earlier that NO2 is not just an acidic oxide, but rather a mixed acidic oxide. So when it dissolves in water, it produces two types of acid. And what are the acids? The acids are HNO2 and HNO3. HNO2 is called nitrous acid. HNO3 is called nitric acid. But for P2O5, when it dissolves in water, it produces an acid which is H3PO4, and this particular acid is called phosphoric acid. There are still more to learn about the oxide. If you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.